In at least 25 states across the country, hundreds of families desperate to adopt a child have been targeted by an imposter in a fake adoption scandal that has made international headlines. Now, while the media has called this a scam, no laws have actually been broken because shockingly, this imposter has not asked a single victim for a single dime. Now, using a long list of aliases, such as Ashley and Chris, Alyssa and Josh, Melissa and Clyde, as well as stolen sonograms and pregnancy images, she lures in prospective parents. Now, as part of the scheme, the imposter grooms them by toying with their emotions and pulling their heartstrings to be sure they are fully invested. And then when these desperate couples do not get the baby they hope for, they grieve. There's a real loss there. So who's the mastermind behind this elaborate scheme? And how has she managed to fool so many couples? Well, this mastermind is actually a 24-year-old unemployed woman who sits in her bedroom all day long. Her name is Gabby, and she's here today. Now, like most people that have been exposed as an imposter, she has been quite a handful this morning. Take a look. Gabby arrived today at the stage with her dad, Gene. She's very reluctant to go on the show. Why are they filming? She's been very rude to the team here. We love your new sweatshirt. When I went to go take the picture of Gabby in her wardrobe, she did not want me to take it. So as you can tell, she just covered her face. When I first saw Gabby this morning, I introduced myself and she said, I don't want to talk to you. You just signed a release for our show. Please confirm that you read and understood it. One of the guests that we have Gabby is a bit difficult for mm -hmm. a show. Okay. Uh -huh. Will she be staying upstairs here? She'll be in her green room. We're going to take her down to the green so room. So you will take her to the, the green room. Mm -hmm. So for the last about 12 hours, Gabby constantly is texting me. She calls me about every half hour. So I just got a text that says, kind of uncomfortable and on the verge of a meltdown soon. So I'm going to go check in on her. Give me the latest on Gabby. So she's touch and go right now. Um, sometimes she's saying, yes, she'll do it. Other times she says she won't do it. Well, I think I need to speak to her as well. So Absolutely. I'm go speak to her now. Hello. Nice to meet you. Hi, Gabby. Please don't talk to me. Can we at least say hello? No, We've I'm leaving. Before. No, you can't leave. Gabby, Gabby. You, Gabby, you have to remember we're all here to help. Gabby, Gabby, no. we're here to help you. Gabby, come talk to Patrick. Go so, away, uh, damn. Dr. Phil wants to help you. That's I the. Want help. I cannot remember the last time I had a guest this volatile. Um, I've never had to chase a guest out of a dressing room just to talk to them before. Honestly, at this point, I think we need a miracle to get her on stage. Hello. Hi, Kylie. Hey. I just wanted to give you an update on where we're at. As you know, Gabby's here, but she's in, in an incredibly volatile state right now. Mm -hmm. So there's every chance that she might not make it to stage. Mm. If you get the opportunity to speak to her, what would you like to say to her? Why in the world would you try to inflict this much pain on someone? Amy? Yeah. Hello. What do you want to say to her? I'm very angry with what she's done. And yeah. all these parents, they have every right to be angry and upset. I what? think that it is very, very important, though, that we do what we can to get her on the show. Hey, I just wanted to give you an update. Gabby is here. She's very volatile. Um, right. So she may not make it to stage. I would like to know why. Why she's targeting people with so much emotion. Like, we're attached to open our hearts. She's going straight for the easy prey, I guess. This isn't a game for us. Like, yes. There's a lot of emotional attachment to this. Well, I've spoken to all the guests. They want her to get on stage. These people are here because they want answers. Right now, right now, right now. OK, damn. Shut up. How you doing, Gabby? I'm Darius. I'm one of the stage hey, managers. Hey, this is Darius. Yeah, I haven't met you yet. How are you? I'm okay. Good, good. You so it'll be my job to kind of walk you to stage when it's time to go, so. Okay, it's time to go now, because I gotta go home. <laughs>